Hey guys, what's up? It's Marble Pop Addict. I'm back with another one. It is going to be something a bit different today. Um, we're going for a little wander. Um, so long story short, uh, one of my family members kind of made me aware of a there's a film on YouTube. It's from 1948. It's called Escape, and it's got uh, Rex Harrison, William Hartnell in it. Um, I don't quite know what it's about. But it has something to do with an escape prisoner. Obviously, back in those days, I, th I think convicted murderers were sent to like the smaller prisons. So, like Dartmoor Prison was one of the main ones. This is whilst the bigger prisons were being built in the cities. I'm not 100% sure on the back history of that, but that's all I know. Long and short, this one was actually partly shot where I, basically where I live, which <laughs> I, I find absolutely incredible. So we're going for a wander, and I'm just going to show you some. Like kind of screenshots from this film and I'm going to show you where they were shot so stick around so I can't actually link in clips from the film because I don't really have the tech to do it I don't really know how to do that but I have screenshotted like various kind of parts of this scene so I can show you like exactly where they were shot and this is to show you where where we are in present day so um, I think the whole scene was basically the guy was on the run and the police were after him. That, obviously I don't know why, I think it was for some kind of murder, I'm not sure. But if you have a look here, so this is like kind of general area. Now look at this screenshot. Yeah, that's here. Fantastic. So we're going to mosey on up the road. There's probably no point in doing that because you could have seen from back there. But here, we've got a kind of um, got a kind of view on this second screenshot here. So that's fantastic. I, I can't believe I didn't know this until today. I'm actually I'm quite proud and elated to think that I live around somewhere that was actually used for film location. So I'm going to walk down to the church now and I'm going to show you some more bits. So this is like kind of the general area of the church which is right in the middle of the village and there was I can't quite remember. So it goes where we were before, and then they go to someone's house, which is down the way from where we were, and then we come over to here, and the police are obviously still searching for this guy, and we come to around here. This here, this kind of area, this used to be an actual garage, so obviously the housing was kind of built up over the years. I, I don't know when, I don't really know the history of it. But if you look behind me, you can see the church in that general area. So now take a look at the screenshot. As you can see, there used to be a wall like wrapping right around that. So there's no car park, no bus stop or anything like that. Obviously it was pretty much 1950s, so I guess public transport wasn't as prevalent as it is now or, well, cars, for instance, quite frankly. But, as you can see, it's a completely kind of like different view now to what it was. Like that wall there was probably part of the one that wraps right around there. So I don't know when they converted that, but I just, I just find it really interesting. But we're gonna cross over the road now and I'm gonna show you where the last couple of screenshots were filmed. To be honest, it's really weird to think, like, you never really think about these sort of things. Like, in your lifespan, you don't think, oh, I wonder what happened here before I was born. It's weird. But anyway, this is the next bit. So we've got this sign here. And now look at this screenshot. They basically answered right where they filmed this, well, what this screenshot's from. <laughs> so 
so it's early still I can't get my words right but if you look down there you'll see a kind of a similarity because this is where the, the chase kind of goes from the church down to this road here So before I go guys, I'm just what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in some pictures so you can see all these locations again and I'm going to show you the pictures I've taken of the locations in present day. So here we go. So that's kind of all I've got from watching the clip on YouTube. But I'm gonna actually sit down and watch the full film and see if there's anything else. I mean, I won't do another video on it, but I mean, if you found this interesting, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, I've still got my hashtag 100 competition going, so don't forget about that. And um, thanks for watching this, guys. I'll see you on the next one.